Hello, this is Alex on Pangyo, Techno Valley Weekly News. Here's the news from the final week of August. NHN joins MOE's Go Go Challenge to lead the carbon emission reduction campaign. NHN announced on August 27th that it will participate in the Ministry of the Environment's eco-friendly campaign Go Go Challenge. Kim Myung Shin, CTO of MHN Cloud Division, participated in the campaign after being nominated by the data processing solution company InnoDep. The Go Go Challenge is a plastic free movement that began in January this year by the Ministry of Environment and it relays to other participants. It is done by uploading what to do and what not to do to reduce plastic in our daily lives on social media and passing it to the next challenger. CTO Kim of NHN Cloud Division said, as an IT company that operates data centers where energy efficiency is crucial, it is our mission to think about ESG, environmental, social, and governance, which is a sustainable future value. By participating in the GoGo -Go Challenge, I was able to encourage our employees to cut down on using disposable products and emphasize that technology advancement increases the energy efficiency in the company, thus reducing carbon emission. Next up, Smilegate to promote virtual human Han Yua. Smilegate announced on August 27th that it will showcase its virtual human Han Yua on Instagram and start promotion activities. Han Yua is the main character of its VR game, Focus on You. This character has received a lot of admiration from the fans with the look that reminds them of a first love. Smilegate joined hands with Giant Step a company that has shown remarkable achievements in special effects, VFX, and VR to foster Han Yua into an attractive celebrity. With Giant Step's AI-based virtual human solution and real-time engine technology-based real-time content solution, Han Yua will be taking steps to communicate with the public in a more advanced form, as if she were a real person. Essentially, to make her into a popular virtual celebrity, she will be acting and singing by the end of this year. She will also collaborate with a famous brand. Her activities will be posted on Instagram. To diversify the intellectual property IP of the game Crossfire, Smilegate made attempts to expand the content to entertainment by producing dramas and Hollywood movies. Baek Min Jung, executive director of Smilegate IP Business said, Recently, as metaverse and virtual influencers are in the spotlight in a society, virtual characters can increase contact points with the public through their activities that transcend time and space. We have built up awareness of Han Yua with the VR game, and we are planning to put her in various online and offline activities. Get excited for what's in store. For our third story, Gyeonggi-do gathers representatives from Gwangyo and Pangyo Research Institutes for a collaborative project. On August 27th, the Gyeonggi-do Business and Science Accelerator, or GBSA, held the Gwangyo Pangyo Research Institute Policy Council first representative meeting in a video conference. The policy committee was established this year to implement a cooperative system for communication and cooperation among Gyeonggi-do and research institutes according to Article 9 of the Gyeonggi-do Business and Science Accelerator Ordinance. Projects for knowledge information, technology exchange, joint cooperation, etc. And Article 9 of the Gyeonggi-do Innovation Cluster Fostering and Support Ordinance, which is about promotion of industry, university, year, joint research and development. And the first meeting was held on this day. The Policy Council is made up of 10 national and provincial funded research and promotion organizations located in Gyeonggi-do and Gwangyo and Pangyo Techno Valleys, including the Gyeonggi-do Business and Science Accelerator, BioCenter 4th Industry Headquarters, the Advanced Institute of Convergence Technology, the Korea Advanced Nano Fab Center, Gyeonggi-do Techno Park, the National Institute for Mathematical Science, the Intelligent ICT Convergence Research Center, the Seoul SWSOC Convergence R&BD Center, the Software Policy and Research Center, the Artificial Intelligence Cooperation Center, and the Institute Pasteur Korea. At the first representative meeting, each participating organization announced its major core projects, and based on the results of the Agenda Demand Survey conducted in advance, 
various opinions for practical cooperation between Gyeonggi-do and institutions were presented and issues that need policy changes were raised and suggestions were made. And for our final big story of the day, Kakao Bank to release house mortgage product and plans to make a large-scale hiring for bank employees. Kakao Bank has started recruiting experienced security deposit loan operating employees. On August 27th, Kakao Bank announced that it will hire a large number of experienced employees to operate loans such as mortgage loans and security deposit loans. It is planning to recruit tens of employees in security deposit loan operation and support. The deadline for application is September 12th. Kakao introduced a non-face-to-face -face security deposit loan product in January of 2018 and is currently preparing to launch a house mortgage loan product. The mortgage loan operation department will be in charge of receiving security deposit loan and house mortgage loan applications from the customer service team and processing them. Kakao Bank is looking for candidates with four or more years of experience in handling house mortgage loan products in the financial sector. Applicants who have experience in various loan products in the financial sector and have a high understanding of the mobile loan process will be giving priority. The company will hire them as permanent employees. The mortgage loan operation support will be in charge of receiving the met the mortgage loan operation support will be in charge of receiving documents for security deposit loan products. Applicants with one or more years of experience in the financial sector can apply. They will be hired as contract employees and preference will be given to workers with experience in handling mortgage loan products. And finally, here's your quick news of the week. Naver launches medical big data business. Naver is soon to invest in Easy Care Tech, an electronic medical record EMR company. Naver is investing in this company to lay the foundation for a database-based healthcare business. The industry analysts speculated that Naver is preparing to expand its healthcare business, which only existed globally, to Korea. Next up on the quick news of the week, NCSoft to showcase IP collaborated product. NCSoft announced on August 27th that it showcased its new collaboration project Amenity Lounge. Amenity Lounge is a new project that introduces various collaboration projects based on NC's original IP. Through collaboration with various brands and artists, the company plans to create products that reflect the cultural code of the MZ generation and provide new enjoyment to users. And finally, for our final story of the week, Samsung Heavy Industries selects ammonia instead of hydrogen for eco-friendly shipping. Samsung Heavy Industries has been the leader of the market by establishing a firm position in the field of eco-friendly LNG liquefied natural gas ships amid ever-increasing environmental regulations. It is making its best efforts to take the lead in the next generation eco-friendly ship market. What is worth noting is that more attention is being paid to ammonia as a source of energy rather than hydrogen. That's it for your Pangio Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next time.